Good day. Welcome to my Blender 2.6 tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to take a 2D image and use Bezier curves to make it into a 3D image. This is another Noob to Pro tutorial, and links to the tutorial and the image can be found in the description below. First, open Blender and delete the default cube. Hit numpad 7 to go in the top view and numpad 5 to put into an orthographic view. Press N to bring up the transform options, tick the background box, click on the drop down arrow and go to add image. Then open and find where your image is and open the image. You should now be able to see your image in the top view. Now shift A, go to curves and select Bezier. Now you want to tab into edit mode, go to set spline type and click poly. Now your Bezier curve has a bunch of vertices, so select the first one, hit G and drag it to the top left hand side of your lightning bolt. And now put the rest of your vertices in around about the same place as mine. They don't have to be perfect. Once your last vertice is in place, you want to hit Alt C to close the polygon. Now if you're still not happy with where you've put your vertices, you can click on them, hit G and move them around to until you've got them where you want them. Once you're happy with their position, we're going to go back to set spline type and we're going to put your curve back into Bezier mode. Now you can use the two handles on either side of the vertex to set your curve. Now play around with them for a little bit until you get the idea of how they move watch mine and then get them to where you're happy if you want to have a better look at how your curves looking hit tab and go back into object mode and you'll see your outline and then tab back into edit mode and keep positioning your curves And once you're happy with it, tab into object mode to check your result. Then tab back into edit mode. And then we're going to select splines object data. Now I'm going to change the view a bit so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to go to the extrude. And I'm going to extrude at 0.25. Now that it's got some thickness to it, I need to give it some faces to make it look solid. To do this, you can see at the top you've got your 2D and 3D option. I'm going to select 2D 
and that will give it some faces. There you go. Now we've got a solid looking lightning bolt. Now I'm going to set a bevel. I chose 0 0.075. Now once you've done that, press 7 to go back to top view, Z to go into wireframe mode, and you'll see that your object has expanded a bit. And it's now outside of the outline of your lightning bolt. To get it back to the size we want, I'm going to set the offset to minus 0.05 and as you can see now it's pulled in. Now I want to make my bevel look a little more rounded and to do this I'm going to set the bevel resolution to 4 and as you can see now it's nice and smooth and round. Next I'm going to set the ends of my lightning bolt to make it look just a bit nicer. And next, to make the whole thing look a little smoother, I'm going to change the resolution of the spline to 16. It doesn't have to be perfect because I will be adding a subdivision surface modifier and a smooth later once I've converted it into a mesh. And now your lightning bolt should look something like this. Now we need to add some colour to it. So go up to your materials tab, click new, Go to your Diffuse Color Swab and pick yellow. And that's it for our lightning bolt. Now go to part B and I'll show you how to use the Bezier curves to make your circle. Thanks for watching.